today we are in Mount Dora. We are at the Renninger's Flea Market, which based on the sign back here says there's over <laughs> there's over 700 vendors. Let's go check it out. You actually turn in right here and parking is kind of a free for all. You just kind of find a spot to park at and you just park. And then as far as I know, everything's like, there's no cost to get in, but obviously if you buy something, then there's a cost associated with that. We have some signage here, the flea and farmer's markets gonna be up this way. And then the yard sale antique center is gonna be this way. I think we'll start at the flea market. It says open eight to four Saturday and Sunday, eight to four. That's where we came in. Here's all the tents. Well, you can pretty much park anywhere. Does it go all the way down there too? This is insane. We're gonna start at the flea market slash farmer's market. If you come on a motorcycle, they do have motorcycle parking up top here. Let's see what the inside looks like. Holy smokes. Look at this. All right, we're gonna choose to go straight, but you can see there's booths on both sides everywhere. Uh, we're not really looking for anything specific. We're just checking this out to see what it's like. It is air conditioned in here, which is really nice. You can see they label things. So here's aisle B, candies, knives. And then through here, it looks like they have restrooms, corn dogs, kind of like the food court. There's the restrooms. They've got breakfast and lunch at this place. Might get something today, I'm not sure. Donuts. ATM. It's gonna be pretty much impossible to film everything in here or even everything on the grounds. So we'll just do kind of a quick little lap. You can see over here it says aisle C enter here. So let's just go this way and see what we can find. You can see there's more food over here. Books, magazines, DVDs, shoes. They have a big toy section here. Good grief. Look at all these toys. Over here we have Village Vinyl Records. Buy, sell, trade. And this goes very, very far. All the way down here. Down towards the end, more antique-ish style of items. And I think next we're gonna tackle the outside part because I really, again, first time ever being here, have no idea what all there is. This is insane, they're selling tires, plants. What's all over here? Shoes, honey. Look, they're selling this bar here. Toys. This section has all of these plants. And it's both sides of this right now. Now I will say aside from the first building we went in, because that was fully air conditioned, these outbuildings are pretty toasty. I mean, it's like 91 or 92 today. So you're just getting cooled off with the fans they have up top and then, I mean, the shade, really. So it's a, it's a warm one. Look at this huge night. So we just came from down here and over here, you can see Hawaiian shaved ice. So it looks like kind of on the outside, they've got some spots you can also get some food at. Gonna head down to the very end. Wow, did you hear that announcement? There's counterfeit money going around the markets right now. And that brought us out. We entered way down there, so we did a huge loop. We're gonna walk down on the other side, so we were just on that side. Now we're gonna go down this side and see what all they've got 
as well. There's some produce over there. And we entered right up there, so we're gonna turn this way and walk out, like I said, towards the outside vendors. I'm not sure if it's all completely cash or if they accept card. I haven't seen a sign. Uh, there's certain signs that say cash only, but I'm not sure if that means everywhere or just certain places only do cash. It's kind of hard to show where we're at here. We just came from there. Over here, there's an aisle E, a spot with a door right here that's got drinks. And I would think they accept card, but we'll find out here shortly. You can see they have breakfast, lunch, and combos up there. We ended up getting a water, Mountain Dew, some Lay's chips, which you said a little stale, a little bit. And then I ended up getting a grilled cheese, which is up there for 350. Total was 750. And they asked me what kind of bread I want, so I went with white bread. And I also asked if it's cash only. And in this particular place, it's cash and less. It's over $5. If you spend more than $5, you can use card, but under $5, you, do, you have to use cash. I don't know if you can read the little AC temperature, but it shows 84. So it's definitely warm in these buildings. Here is the grilled cheese. I'm not sure what kind of cheese it is. They didn't ask, but do I think it's, huh, queso? <laughs> do I think it's worth 350? No, but hey, we'll give it a try. Yeah. We'll try it. All right. I mean, that is a very good grilled cheese. Uh, like white cheddar, maybe? After our $7.50 snack, we're gonna head this way. And like I said, we're trying to get back out to the main area, kind of where we parked, so that we can go look at the outdoor vendors. Over here, they have some Disney pins. Then if we head through these doors and take a left, that should take us back towards the front entrance. Like I mentioned before, this is the air conditioned spot and it feels really good in here. It's, it's a comfortable temperature. And this is aisle F. So this way, right when we came in, this was the spot to the right that I showed earlier. Some sunglasses. <laughs> Peanuts, popcorn, cotton candy. Definitely smells like smells like a circus or carnival or something right there. Oh, look at the Steamboat Willie painting. Custom shirts. This area does though feel really nice. Do you agree? Oh look at this. Video games. Yeah, this is comfortable. There's coffee, look at Kaylee Bird's Cabin. Coffee? I think when you go out these big doors, oh, there's some cigars. When you go out these big doors, that's when the AC cuts off and it's more of the outdoor vendors. So I think we'll turn around and go back out the front and start looking out at the vendors outside. We are back outside the front entrance. Over there was the uh, motorcycle parking. We just went kind of through all this building here. So now it's time to head out to like the outdoor vendor area. Here's where you enter. You can see we're gonna head to this side where there's a lot of just everything going on. Art Village is straight ahead. Flea and Farmer's Market's what we were just at. Looks like there's an antique center this way and a yard sale. Honestly, I've never seen anything quite like this, have you? Everyone in the surrounding towns just decided we're all going to have a yard sale at the same time. Yeah. It's crazy, though, because it is massive here. Like, there's, I, I think, just make sure you're paying attention to where you're going, because there's cars everywhere, people everywhere, items stuff everywhere, everywhere, stuff everywhere, and it's blazing hot. This side has, it looks kind of like more antique-ish style of items. Over here, we have some plants. And I don't know, my goodness, it goes all the way down there. It's crazy. We'll pick this side first. I, I don't know that we'll see no. I, actually, I know for a fact we will not see everything. And I'm definitely not gonna film everything because that would take forever. This must be the yard sale section. 
and then past that is the antique section. We just came from down this hill. Shows some more like, I'm just gonna call them outdoor vendors with some antiques. There's a food booth over there, yard sale items. And then this way, what? Oh, through this? Mandy's Grubhub Cafe. But this way and around, it shows the antique building. But apparently we're gonna go through this way. It's like a village out here. This is unreal. Look at all these little shops. And those do have window units in them. I could feel the AC coming out of them. It feels cooler back here. And it does feel cooler back here. Look at all this. Holy smokes. It says more antiques, street of shops. It's kind of a cool concept with a dartboard. It's, it is like a little village. This is cool. This is actually a very cool like concept of having all these little buildings. Yeah. That was a smart idea. The corner nook. And then around the corner, you can see more. Now it said streets or street of shops it's up here. So I wonder, do they call this street of shops maybe? <laughs> that is cool. This must just be considered like the street of shops. I would just like to have one of these just like decorated all cute. <laughs> and there's more. It shows this retail store is for sale. It's a high traffic corner and it shows firm selling price of $55,000 empty. So, so essentially you're buying, you're buying it. Happens. You own the building and pay monthly rent for the land under it. You can see what it looks like. That's a pretty big spot. So then there's a little bit more this way. I know we have to go into these inside. And over here, underneath this pavilion, they have a bunch of vendors as well. I believe 700 plus vendors, don't you? 100%. I want to go on one of these AC antique shops. There's their hours. This is more of your traditional. Ooh, it feels good in here. This is more of your traditional antique shop. Yeah, it feels really good in here. That AC is, you can see they actually have AC up there. Look at the old Coke machine. That's really cool. You can see it's a pretty long building. It goes all the way down there. Is it just me or does this look like a men in black chair? Looks like the chair he scoots on the ground. So that's sold. I'm not gonna show again all the booths they have, but you can see it goes all the way down there. And then I think there's a building next door as well. They have a place that you can pick up some food in here. That's the Mandy's Grub Hub Cafe. You can see the whole world is short staffed. Be kind to those that showed up. Daily specials and half pound burgers, homemade desserts, cold drinks, beer, breakfast, lunch, snacks. Down here towards the end of this building, it's much more pleasant in this AC than it was outside, that's for sure. So to the right we have more, and then up here it says restrooms and that restaurant we were just by down that way, that's the one we just came from. It looks like there's more this way digging the music they got going in here i feel like we're at disney's boardwalk or hollywood studios either one you can see office and restrooms this way i guess there's some more cases down that way so we're gonna go ahead and take a left and go this way so this vendor is closed and it says for help ask matthew in consignment that might have answered my question. 
they made an announcement about certain vendors not being here at certain times. And my question was, if a vendor is not here, can you still buy their stuff? And I think maybe you would just have to go to consignment and ask somebody there to help you. Not 100% sure, but that's what it sounds like. And for the most part, most of the vendors are located at their booth because I think maybe you might pay them at the booth. I'm not sure. I have to do some research online. Came across some more Disney pins. All right, if you don't know the answer to something, you just ask. So this whole section on this side is consignment. On the other side we were just at is individual booths. Now, when I asked the consignment worker, they said everything that's located in the consignment section is like a traditional antique shop. You grab it, you go up to the counter, and you pay. And they accept card, cash, and checks. Everything on the other side is individual vendors. So during their operating hours, they're gonna be at their actual area. And it depends on cash or card with each vendor. Some accept cash, some accept card, some accept both. And he did say they wheel and deal. So cash will always give you the best deals. So half of the side is like traditional antique shop. The other half is independent vendors to where you pay them at their booth. There's definitely some old books in this place. And look over there, the Last Supper picture. Look at this little Disney section. You can see there's the consignment service counter, so that's where you would pay for your items with cash, card, or check. Here we have a Grand Floridian desk and chair. So yeah, this is definitely your Disney section. I wonder if those are, yep, Polynesian. The, the restaurant checkbooks from Liberty Tree Tavern. 75 bucks. Yeah, I'm sure you don't come no, that's the first time I've ever seen those. Right here are some more restrooms. Then if we're looking down here, it says service counter. So I'm wondering if... I think this section is still also consignment. Maybe it literally is one side's consignment, the other side is individual. Because down there it says consignment service counter. So definitely thinking there you go look consignment shop now we're almost towards the end of this side and that brings us back out to the street of shops i don't think there's really anything over here looks like it's kind of all of the grounds in between the two antique buildings that we went into they have the studios at the stable. So another little themed vendor area. Oh, look at the blow mold nativity. See some more of the shops they have. When you walk out of that, you have more restrooms. So I will say they have plenty of restrooms around. Let's Before we head out, let's just head over to the vendors over under the under the pavilion couple oh look at the big boot over there there's a there's another well there's another pavilion up there it looks like lemonade kettle corn boiled peanuts stand here's a look at the outdoor vendors under the pavilion area It's definitely warm out here though too because there, there's no AC obviously and you just have fans going. That's interesting. I guess it's for the vendors. They have showers and restrooms over here. And here's the other side. Then we're finishing out the rest of this section. I think that's it. I think we've done most of everything. We'll go ahead and walk out this way because we weren't up in this area but right here this boot is ice cream it says i don't think it's all ice cream obviously it says farmhouse antiques and vintage furnishings but there must be some sort of ice cream in there which sounds great on a hot day like today 
I've said it like two or three other times, but this will finally be our last spot as we walk out. Cause technically we didn't, we came down the hill well, over there. We didn't ever make it down this way. So after this section, I think then we'll call it a day. I like the toy soldier. This looks like more of the same of just vendors under the pavilion. I won't show it all, but you can get the feel of what this one's like as well. Seems like more vendors are in this one than the other one. And then this will take us right back to the hill that we walked down. Okay, well, that was our trip out to, are we saying it right? I would say it was Renninger's. Renninger's, I guess that's what we'll say. Um, haven't ever really experienced anything quite like it because the first part, which was the flea market slash farmer's market, I had the mindset of it being just like a bunch of antiques. So it kind of threw me off. It's not, it's definitely a bunch of everything. They had a whole suitcase stand in there too. Like you could, it was everything. And then the first half of outside is the yard sale, which you can probably find anything. But as we're walking by it, this back part right here, which was the um, actual yeah. antique section. Yeah, I like that spot. It was our favorite, oh. favorite spot. And also, I mean, I guess bring cash, because it seems like- They do have ATMs. They, they do have ATMs, yeah, numbers. that's true. But overall, it said cash rules everything, so definitely yeah. have cash with you. And like I said, I'll put the website down in the description that you can search it yourself, but this happens every weekend and there's 700 plus vendors and i believe it that kind of sums it up yeah. it was very interesting to say the least um but it looked like if you're looking for like more restaurant -y style of stuff down at the antique spot it actually was labeled like restaurant and had air conditioning so and get like, yeah, burgers and stuff that might be the place for you to try some food if you get out here and get a little hungry but that's our trip out here with that being said that does it for today thanks for watching